Also, with his shirt. Plaid. Plaid is difficult. Uh, so if you actually look at what I did here, I indicated plaid. It took a while to layer on top like this, but I did not draw every single little uh, plaid bit of his shirt. Like, that's intense, right? I sort of indicated where it was. So, and the way that I did that is I actually took the pastel, and you see how there's a big chunk of like dark stripe there? That's all I did. I did that for the entire shirt. So as you can see right here, it, it kind of up and over the wrinkles. Right, there's that one like right there. And then this one goes kind of that way and like. I followed the shape for the most part. And then it goes back over this way. I'm trying to make sure I get this. Right? So just by doing that, and then I layered in some yellow, I layered in some white, I layered in the brown, just to kind of neutralize it a little bit, just like I did with the background, right? That is how I got this crazy shirt to look like plaid. Because I, I don't know what it is, uh, maybe it's just me, but from experience, those who wear plaid wear a lot of plaid. And Lloyd here, I, I'm so glad I put in the plaid shirt because I found out that he almost exclusively wears plaid. And if I had drawn him without a plaid shirt, I would have been doing him a disservice, you know? <laughs> so it's one of those things that you don't have to make it super complicated, but if you just indicate here and there, like, you know? And I, I layered white on top of blue and then the yellow for the lights, like, it, you know, it wasn't perfect, and I know it's not perfect, but it's just enough to indicate that it's flat.